What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and beautiful people of the Crasher community? How are you guys doing today? So in this video, we are going to be talking about responsibility, more specifically when it comes to content creators and their audiences. So this right here came about in a very interesting way, and this originates from Willie Mac Show. You are not responsible for your audience unless you directly tell them to do something. They are their own people. If you have 100,000 and viewers statistically speaking one of them is going to be unhinged now this right here is in response to a clip from idub's video which we will be getting into shortly clear that i am absolutely responsible for my audience if you want to you know look out for people who are red flags it's definitely people who had my mentality that say uh, i'm not responsible for what my audience does I completely agree, and there are so many fucking content creators out there that just leave that at the door. They like turn on, they go in their computer and they do their content and do this, and the second they're offline, they just like let the snowball go down the hill. You are absolutely responsible for your audience and what they're saying and doing and what's happening in different discords and stuff. You have to. No one else can be. You are the mother that birthed that audience, right? They are a reflection of you. It makes me sick to think of like what you guys might say and do in other channels. That's why I'm like very strict here. So let me say this real quick. I think it's absolutely absurd that something like this is even debatable. Like at the end of the day, we as individuals are responsible for ourselves, okay? I control what I say and what I do, and you control what you say and what you do. Simple as that. It's one thing to build your audience, okay? That's of your handiwork, but you're not responsible for how they react to the type of content that you put out. Unless you directly influence them by saying, hey, go attack this individual, go harass this individual, then yeah, the onus is 100% on you. But if you're not doing that, and instead you are making fair and valid criticisms and concerns in response to someone or something, then here's the thing, is that it's up to the interpretation of the audience as to how they want to perceive it, how they want to handle it, how they want to react to it. That's not on you. Like, imagine if you're a content creator, and you make a fair and valid criticism about someone, and as an example, let's just say they are a part of a protected group, say LGBTQ as an example. So you make a criticism about that individual and it's non-hostile, it's very frank and very logical. And out of the hundreds upon thousands of potential viewers that come across that video, say if there's one rogue individual that happens to assault someone within that protected group, should that content creator be held responsible? No, they shouldn't, and anyone with half a brain would understand that. Now, if said content creator says to their audience, any person that you see that is LGBTQ, go and assault them. Well then, that is a 100% completely different story and situation, and that is something that you objectively caused and therefore are responsible for. Now all this here came from a video that iDubs ended up making that is titled, I Miss the Old iDubs, and we can see this video has some mixed reviews, and understandably so. Now I'm just gonna say straight up, in my honest opinion, this is the type of video that would put even insomniacs to sleep. However, there is one part of that video that piqued my interest and, by extension, piqued the interest of a lot of people, where he insinuates that we should be responsible for our audience, and that he ends up claiming that he is 100% responsible for his audience. And here's the thing, iDubs, if that is how you feel, then that is how you feel. But just because you feel that way doesn't mean you get to project that on everyone else, as as if to insinuate that they should feel the same way. Now, of course, with that being said, there are going to be other content creators that chime in on this, big and small, and some of them will just say have some really, really bad takes. Such as with Ludwig here, we have ourselves the following. The argument that statistically one out of 100,000 people will be unhinged is so you bear no responsibility. On the other, 99,999 is incredibly weak. However, things take a really interesting turn when we have this Twitter user 
quote tweeting Ludwig with an image showcasing a video that is titled, I tried drunk driving legally with an image that showcases Ludwig drinking while driving. Oh, that's a keeper right there, buddy. I got a little something to say about that. So I find it really funny that Ludwig can post a video like that, yet turn around, puff out his chest, and act like he's on some sort of moral high ground. Now, the video in question doesn't actually involve him driving a real vehicle while drinking. He's playing a driving simulator, so let me just get that context out the way. But the reason I'm bringing attention to this and why I am calling this out from Ludwig is because we have ourselves a contradiction at work here. He wants to make this moral high ground stance as if we should be responsible for the actions and reactions of our audience that watches our content. Yet, let me ask you this there, Ludwig. Out of every single viewer that viewed your drunk driving video, should you be responsible for anyone that takes it to an extreme real life level that actually tries to quote, legally drink while driving? Because by your logic and your response in all of this, you should be responsible. I mean, hey, all of us have to be responsible apparently for the amount of actions and reactions that our audience gets from our content. So that means that you should be responsible too too, by your logic. Do you understand how absolutely asinine this is? Now, unless you outright say that, hey, you should go out drinking and driving, or if you are saying to your audience that they should go out and do bad things, yes, okay, then the responsibility, the onus is on you because that is something that you directed to your audience. That is something that you have said. But if you haven't done any of that, it's up to the audience on how they interpret it and how they respond to it. And here's the thing as well, is that disclaimers are a thing too. And speaking of disclaimers, this channel, I have made a lot of videos being critical of various things and various people, but take a look at the description of not just this video, but the descriptions of pretty much every single other video that I have made over the last few years. There is a disclaimer that disavows things like harassment, things like bullying, things like brigading, and that right there pertains to especially whenever I have criticisms about something or someone because at the end of the day I don't want anyone to go out of their way to harass and stalk these individuals that I happen to have criticisms on and that right there goes back to being responsible for yourself being responsible for your actions, being responsible for what you say and what you do. And you know what? This actually here reminds me of the instance where video games were somehow being blamed based on how kids were influenced by them. That's not the video game's fault. That is 100% on not just the children who play the games, but it's also on the parents to educate their kids from right and wrong, from realistic to not realistic. Like, you don't have first-person shooter games literally telling the players to go get a gun and go out and shoot people and rob banks. Like, these are the type of vibes I'm getting from this debate, which is really freaking stupid. But yeah, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to get my thoughts out there because this is a subject, honestly, that really, really shouldn't be up for debate. But somehow it is, and that right there is a result of big content creators making bad takes and trying to gaslight people into thinking something that isn't actually reality, like it just isn't realistic. But these here are just my own opinions and observations on the matter. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I'd love to hear you guys out in the comments down below. With that said, that's it here for the video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your time as well in viewing this video. Have yourself a damn good one you beautiful people. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, be responsible for yourself. Be responsible for your actions and your words. You don't have to be responsible for what someone else says and what someone else does unless you otherwise direct them. I'll see you guys in the next video.